Hello! This is the next video in the series on bringing an axe back. And in this video, I'm going to cover handle selection. I hadn't given much thought to the subject until I started uh, uh, planning out this next video, but I realized that before you hang an axe, you really need to have a handle. And so I've got an assortment of axes here, including the two that we've been focused on in the last couple of videos and in addition I've got some of uh, some other sizes here just to uh, uh, provide as examples as, as we proceed through the video. So let me talk about this five pound two temper. I got a 36 inch handle. This is a link handle from a local hardware store. Uh, had another handle that I thought I might use for it, but it didn't end up working out. And the reason why is because I noticed a little hairline crack down in the uh, end of the handle. And I thought it might just be a crack in the lacquer finish, so I scuffed it off with a rasp, and sure enough, the crack goes into the wood and uh, runs all the way across the grain. So. I'm not going to use this handle for the uh, the big guy, but I do have another use for it, thankfully. I've got a double bit hatchet, and I kind of cobbled together a handle with a hammer handle, but uh, you can see that it doesn't quite fit the dimensions of the eye properly, and there's some gaps there on either side of the handle. So what I'm going to do is cut off this straight handle here where it... Uh, stops tapering and to roughly the same length and I'll be able to uh, fit that onto this double bit by shaping it with a rasp. So there's uh, there's one tip or technique for you. You can sometimes fashion smaller handles out of bigger handles if you have to. Um, so let's go back to this curved handle for a moment. It's uh, got pretty good grain so the the uh, direction of the grain is in the direction that force would be applied in the axe. You can see that on the other end of the handle as well. It has relatively straight grain. It does have a little bit of heartwood in it. You'll find in some sources uh, a statement that heartwood is uh, a bad thing in an axe handle. Um, I contest that point. I have used a lot of heartwood axe handles and have had no problem with them. And I've also heard reference several times that the uh, U.S. Forest Service did a study and found no difference in the performance or durability of heartwood axe handles. Uh, I couldn't find that study, but I did find a, uh, a technical requirements document on the U.S. Forest Service website that talked about all the requirements for the axes that. Uh, they purchased from government suppliers and it talked about the different species of tree and the humidity percentages that uh, the wood required but it made no specification as regard to uh, whether it needed to be sapwood or hardwood and there was no express prohibition against hardwood. So I think uh, hardwood handles are, are going to be fine. I wouldn't sweat that point guys. So I picked a 36 inch handle for this one because it's a 5 pound head. Um, when I pick out a handle length I try to pick it out on the basis of proportionality and with a 5 pound head that's just about the biggest axe you're likely to find outside of a custom made uh, competition act or a few really large axes that were made for Australian hardwoods that I've seen floating around on the internet. So I think a 36 inch handle is most appropriate there. Here's the uh, three and a half pound uh, Grant's Gold label. And for this one I picked out a 32 inch handle, 32 inch. And that uh, I picked out for a couple of reasons. One, I think it, it's proportional to the, the three and a half pound head. I think it's going to it's gonna fit it nicely, it'll be well balanced. And, and, and easy to handle. Uh, I also think uh, that it's, it's interesting to try new things and I don't have a 32 inch handled axe so I'm going to give it a shot. Um, 
we'll see how it turns out. Maybe I'll like it, maybe I won't. But um, I got plenty of handles, so if I don't like that one, I'll put one on it that I do like. Uh, so we'll let you know on that. Uh, but for a three and a half pound head, you know, anywhere from a 30 to 36 inch handle is uh, considered standard. I've got uh, a three and a half pounder with a 36 inch handle, and you know, it's uh, it, it swings fine. I split a lot of wood with it, but uh, you know, maybe the, the 32 inch handle will be uh, a little bit handier. So I'm going to give that a shot. Um, got a two and a half pound head there. That's from a sportsman's guide that's not one I've shown in a previous video so I guess I'll give you a close-up of it I cleaned it up with uh, some paint remover and dipped it in some vinegar for a couple days just to clean the rust off it mostly out of the inside of the eye and I've got a uh, 28 inch uh, heartwood handle this is 100% heartwood here and it's got a flame tempered finish um, I get what I can get and this is what I got but I'd rather have the wax finish that you saw on the other two handles because I'm going to sand the finish off anyway so having the lacquer on here is, uh, uh, is going to add an extra step for me it's not something I prefer um, so if you get the, the, the option and you know you're going to sand off the finish anyway get the, uh, the wax finish um, this last handle is a 19 inch handle. This is a one and three quarter pound hatchet head. And I was just in a discussion on the forum with somebody else about handles and they made the point that you should kind of base the handle length on the weight of the head and, and what's appropriate for that size. Um, going back to the handle itself, this is an example of poor grain. You can see that the grain runs perpendicular to the direction that force is applied and the tendency over a period of time will be for the wood to delaminate and eventually uh, cracks will propagate and uh, it'll break so that's uh, that's an example of a bad handle a buddy of mine mailed that to me and said he wasn't any good at hanging axes and I said well that isn't one you want hung on your axe anyway so I I hooked him up with a handle I had. So what are some other things that you want to look at? You want to go into a store and get a chance to look at the at the handles. I try to, you know, sight down the length of them and make sure that they're good and straight, that they're not warped. I often find handles that are bent in this direction, you know, off to the side here somewhere, so that they're not perfectly straight. Uh, it's not uncommon to see a little bit of twist, especially in this end of the handle. I don't sweat that a whole lot. I don't think I've ever seen a handle other than maybe on a Grand Spores Brooks that was perfectly shaped on the uh, fawn's foot end of the handle. Um, I'm looking at the grain. I also try to make sure that the grain runs more or less continuous through the entire length of the handle. Uh, if it's got a lot of twist to it or if it uh, runs off in one direction or another that's that's not as good if you notice that most of the the fibers or the grain that starts at the top of the head ends up running off to the side that's probably one to avoid even if the grain is relatively straight and the reason why is is that it can be a lot of shear stress on that uh, that grain where it starts to run off there and most of the handles that I've seen split in half split off where the grain runs out like that um, you want to take a look at the eyes the eye on this one is not too bad but it's not perfect either you can see that the wedge kerf is a little bit off to the side here um, I think it'll be fine uh, we'll see when I get to hanging it how it looks um, but it's not ideal if I had a, that handle and another handle uh, like this one say it's got a wedge kerf that's cut right through the, the center of it and then I'd pick the one obviously with the wedge kerf run through the center um, let me think of some other things uh, you notice that all the handles here have a pretty smooth transition 
you know, from the eye area down the length of the handle. You notice that some handles have a, a pretty strong uh, uh, transition or a steep shoulder. I usually rasp that off anyway. When I hang an axe, I like it to be smooth uh, from the eye on down so it doesn't get caught in anything. And I'll show you what I mean by that when we get to the section on hanging. But, uh, you know, if it's got a, a, an outrageous shoulder on it, you know, maybe I'll pass on that. Seymour link handles normally don't have that uh, problem. So when I go into a store, I usually will buy those over stores that carry some other brand. Uh, how set? handle has uh, I won't say objectionable because like I say I could rasp it off if I wanted to but uh, uh, it just is an extra step so I go with link handles or, or somebody else uh, for my handles uh, I'll show you one other thing uh, this is probably gonna throw some folks into a tizzy uh, not because uh, it's a real serious issue but because if you're new and you're trying to get that perfect handle it makes it all that much harder and it's the fact that even two handles from the same company that are the exact same handle won't be the same so here are two handles that are Seymour link handles and they're both 28 inch boys axe handles the only difference is that one is waxed and the other is their lacquered and flame hardened finish and if you look at the ends of the eyes you'll see that there's a significant difference in the size um, and there's a certain difference you know to the girth of the handles themselves this uh, flame hardened one is a bit bigger um, I picked out this particular handle for this particular head because these Swedish axes have rather large eyes for their size so this happens to fit that head almost perfectly right out the gate and so I'll be able to get a perfect fit even though that's a kind of an unusual shaped eye for an American axe anyway if I were to use this handle you'd see I'd come up short it would just uh, uh, it wouldn't it wouldn't end up hanging right so doesn't really bother me because I collect axes. I have so many and I keep lots of handles in stock, so to speak, that I'll usually be able to find the right handle for the job. But it's something to keep in mind that, you know, you might have to buy a few handles to get the one, you know, that you need to fit your application. You can make a big handle smaller, and I do that on a regular basis. Uh, the handle that I used to hang the axe for my friend is the exact same shape as this one. It's really meant for a Hudson Bay pattern head, but I hung it on a head that looked just like this. It was a plum. And you can see there's quite a bit more handle than there is eye. That's not a problem. I can I can shrink that handle down without too much difficulty. In a little practice, you guys will be able to do the same. And I'll show you how to do that when we get to the, the axe hanging video. Um, so there you go guys, that's all I know about uh, picking axe handles. Um, I don't have any double bit uh, heads right now to, uh, to show you. I do have a couple double bit handles, uh, but I don't think there's really anything more to say about those that you didn't already see. They're probably a bit easier to select than a curved handle because they're straight, the eyes are uniform, they're probably easier for the companies to make. so. So it's easier to score a good double bit handle uh, and I think double bits are easier to hang too because the eyes are symmetrical um, there's a lot less that can go wrong when hanging one of those uh, they just seem to hang up pretty quick for me well let me know if you got any questions folks otherwise as soon as we've got another clear day here in Massachusetts uh, I'll get out and I'll start hanging some of these and and we'll continue the series I uh, apologize for having uh, uh, such a long gap here in between videos, but it's been bad weather, and uh, I finally decided to try to move this inside, at least for this video, uh, and uh, hopefully it turns out. I set up quite a few lights uh, just to make sure that we can capture the detail, and if there's anything that, uh, that you didn't see that you'd like to, just let me know. Okay, folks, 
Take it easy.